Hey there guys, your boy Vertus here and welcome back to my Unreal Engine 4 FPS series. In today's video we are going to be working on the weapon switching and getting it to display the second weapon. And when you press the 2 key on your keyboard to switch the weapon, you are going to see it swap from the AK-47 uh, gun model to the gun model for the M4A1. Now there's quite a bit that we're going to be doing in today's video so just try and make sure you stay focused and make sure you do everything correct. Now in the last video what we did was we set up a blueprint for the M4A1 and that's inside of blueprints, weapons and the M4A1 folder. Now what we need to start off by doing is we actually made this blueprint but there's still the AK-47 skeletal mesh inside of this. So what we need to do is detach our skeletal mesh uh, one, the new one, from our AK-47 if you haven't got it detached already, and then delete that, just get rid of the AK-47 model because we do not need that anymore. If you compile this, it should say there's a bit of an error, that's nothing to worry about. What we've got to do is head over to the event graph, find any instances or references to that AK-47 model, which was in the socket stuff, saying um, it basically needs a new target so that it can now find the muzzle. Now we changed the, the socket name in the M4A1, so the socket name is exactly the same, that's fine. So all I've got to do is go up here into my components tab, grab skeletal mesh one, and then just hook this up to the target, hit compile, and that should fix all of our issues that we have there. So now what we need to do is work on getting it spawned into the game and then once we've done that we can start playing around with the visibility for when we actually do our weapon switching. So what I'm going to do is go back to my main blueprints folder and I'm going to open up my third person character and find where I actually spawned in the AK-47 and just duplicate some of the code from that. So if I go all the way up to the top here, we do have a little sequence on begin play and at the end of this you can see we spawn the actor weapon base and then attach it to the player with the socket weapon mesh. So what I'm going to do is grab this bit here, select all of it, move it along, so this is the AK-47 spawn stuff, I'm going to press C to comment it so I know which one is which, and I'm just going to give it the name spawn AK-47. Now what I'm also going to do is just control V to paste that, so control C and control V to paste that, and then I'm going to comment this new bit called spawn M4A1 just like that. And then I'm just going to hook it up. Now we need to change a few things and the bit that we need to change is the weapon class. So instead of spawning weapon base this time, what I'm going to do is tell it to spawn weapon underscore M4A1, hit compile, and it's not going to work initially. So what we need to do is after this, instead of setting equipped weapon, because we've done that once already, we don't want to use this variable, we need a second one for the weapon. So I'm going to delete that, and then from spawn weapon, from the return value, drag it out, and then just press promote to variable, and give this the name secondary weapon, and you can see me type in this in the bottom left here. And what this is going to do is give us a way to reference our second weapon so we can then later on change the visibility and stuff and also work with ammo as well. If I hit compile, there shouldn't be any errors. And if I jump into the game and press play, you should be able to see that we've now got two weapons spawned in the player's hand. So they've got the AK-47 and the M4A1. They're overlapping because we haven't changed the visibility, but that is not an issue for now. But everything works as it should. Now the ammo is going to be something that we set up in the next video but we're just going to be focusing on this visibility and in terms of placement because it's exactly the same as the other one and I lined it up in the blueprint it should come out pretty much okay. So what we need to do now then is after we've actually spawned this M481 I am going to grab my secondary weapon, get a reference to it and then with this I am going to set visibility on the skeletal mesh within that and I'm going to hook this up 
to my attached component. So what this is going to do is as soon as it spawns, it's going to hide the weapon. And it's going to do that by setting the visibility to null, so nothing. So it's not going to display. So let me just check that. So if I compile, press play, you can see the M4A1 has disappeared. You can no longer see it, which is exactly what I wanted. So now what I need to do then is if the player has picked up the weapon and then they press 2, they need to be able to change the visibility to the M4A1. So what I'm going to do is all the way at the bottom of my event graph here, you can see I've got some input actions that I made earlier on. One for select primary and then one for select secondary. So you can see here we run a little condition that says branch weapon 2 picked up, if it's true, then they're going to set weapon selected to 2, and this is where we are going to get a reference to secondary weapon and simply set the visibility of skeletal mesh 1 to ticked, just like that. And then what we also need to do is get a reference to the equipped one, which is our primary, and then with this, just do the same thing, set visibility, and this time you just want to make the AK-47 disappear. So what I'm going to do is quickly compile this, close it up, press play, and then just try that. So our input action for selecting the secondary weapon is 2. If I press that now, it's not going to do anything. Run over the M4A1, press 2, and you can see it has now changed my weapon and our weapon switching is pretty much working. So what I can do, and what I need to do is, at the moment, I can't go back to the AK-47. So I just need to go back into my third person character blueprint, go all the way to the bottom, and where we set the weapon selected here to one, if they select the primary weapon, we just need to do the opposite of this. So what I'm gonna do, is just copy this code after I move it down and then just paste this in just like this and where I set the visibility over here uncheck that and then check this one so what it's doing is disabling the visibility of the second weapon and then enabling the primary weapon again so if I compile this press play and then run over here to select the M4A1, press 2, it changes to the M4A1 and we're all good there. Press 1, it goes back and we are switching between the two weapons and it works as simple as that. So there's only one last step that we need to do, which is making it fire the second weapon, having a different ammo for the second weapon, as right now it is not currently changing. But for now, I'm going to leave the video here. Once again, guys, thanks for watching. Stay awesome, keep curating. Your boy Virtus, signing out. This video was made possible by my supporters on Patreon. If you want more videos like this, check out my Patreon page using the link in the description. To stay up to date on new releases, make sure you follow us on social media.